everyone, and welcome to this week's Photo Sanity Behind the Scenes Secrets to Taking Better Photos of Your Kids and Organizing, Editing, and Sharing, too. I'm Alethea Chang Fitzpatrick, family photographer and photography coach for parents, and I'm on a mission to help parents take better photos and more fully experience the precious fleeting moments of their children's lives through photography. I'm here today to share behind the scenes secrets to taking better photos, which is that the most important photos to take are those that capture what you most want to remember about this time. This week, the East Coast has taken a battering from Hurricane Sandy. My family has been fortunate to live in an area that did not experience any flooding or much damage at all other than a lot of leaves, branches, and a few trees coming down. Internet and cable have been in and out, but we've maintained power. Close by, however, in areas within walking distance even, the damage, particularly from flooding, has been devastating, and it's the biggest disaster the New York City subway system has ever experienced. This got me thinking about some photos that I took of my three-and-a-half-year-old son, Liam, riding the subway a few weeks ago. Liam loves the subway. He knows most of the subway lines and where they run, owns, I think, eight toy subway cars and counting, and when I take him into the city, I can't help but feel that the highlight of the day for him is usually the subway ride in and home. Even his favorite museum, the Museum of Natural History, with its dinosaur skeletons and the giant whale, pales in comparison. Here's the thing. The light on the subway sucks, and it's not exactly the most photogenic environment on the best of days, either but I wanted to capture the wonder and excitement of a three-year-old on the subway, so I had to work with it, and I'm so glad I did. Actually, these first three photos were taken when half the lights in our subway car were off, so it was even worse than usual, and there was practically no light at all. I cranked my ISO way up, and by way up, I mean way up to the max of 25,600 on my camera, and I did some really stylized editing. Here to a nice contrasty black and white, always a good option when you have poor lighting, and here, for example, as well as in the first two photos, I went a little blue. The subway is not really that blue. Actually, it has kind of an icky yellow-brown ambiance, so I like the blue so much better. In this photo, the lights are back on, so now I was able to lower my ISO to 6400, which is still really high and either the maximum or higher than most of you have on your cameras. However, I always encourage people to embrace the grain as it can be really beautiful, especially for more photojournalistic shots. And sometimes you just don't have a choice. Actually, the light is at least relatively even on the subway, so not too unflattering, as less diffuse and brighter overhead lights can be. But the point here for me was to capture my son's emotions and these really memorable subway rides he and I have been taking together these past few months as we explore the city. And the great thing is that, as always, in noticing the moments in order to photograph them, I also experience them more fully as part of a special experience with my son. New York City subway, you drive us crazy, but we love you and need you. We wish you a speedy recovery. So today's behind the scenes secret to taking better photos of your kids is the most important photos to take are those that capture what you most want to remember about this time. So as a parent photographing your kids, it's more important to take emotionally good versus technically good photos. If you can find good light, great. It's the easiest way to improve the technical as well as the emotional quality of your photos. However, life doesn't always take place in good light. Follow your emotions and if the light is bad, but the emotion and meaning strong, go for it. In poor light, Try a more stylized edit or convert to black and white and embrace the grain. It can be gorgeous. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please head over to photosetting.com and sign up for free updates as well as my free video lesson with my top five tips on taking better photos of your kids and getting a handle on organizing, editing, and sharing too. And of course, if you have friends who would enjoy this video, don't forget to share it with them. Thanks. And to those of you who've been affected by the storm, I wish you a speedy recovery too.